It's almost one year after the 2019 general elections and the electoral umpire, Einek, gathers in Lagos to push for a review of the electoral legal framework. The chairman of Einek declares the retreat open. He reiterates the Commission's desire to attend to the recommendations of the 2019 Electoral Act Amendment Bill from the Senate Committee on INEC, aimed at achieving credible polls ahead of the 2023 elections. The Commission's input is not limited to the review proposed by the National Assembly. As election managers, we conduct elections. We also monitor pre-election activities such as party primaries, and handle post-election processes, including the outcome of litigations. Therefore, we must, at this meeting, cast our nets wide by dissecting the Electoral Act in the light of experience and proposing wide-ranging amendments that will give the nation an electoral legal framework that can truly protect the choice of citizens and guarantee free, fair, and credible elections. With Ando and Edo elections happening in November 2020, the chairman condemns all forms of electoral violence. For as long as violators of our electoral laws are not penalized, we'll continue to have issues with, the, with our elections. If you take a place like South Africa, for instance, they have what they, what they call the electoral courts. Violators are, are, are arrested and instantly prosecuted. But in our own case, Committee after committee have recommended for the enactment of a law to set up the Electoral Offences Commission and Tribunal. One of the goals of this retreat is the rendezvous and subsequent interactions between INEC and the Senate, which is expected to come up on the 5th of March. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.